let's prove the following result that's very important in doing change of variable when integrating. It's also very important when dealing with inverse functions. Okay, to prove this result, we can start from here and get to this result here. Okay, we can just apply the definition of the tangent. Okay, that's the easiest way. Or we can start from here. We're going to do the easiest way. Okay, we're going to note that the tangent of A is sine A over cosine A. And tangent of B is sine of B over cosine of B. Okay, let's do that. So we start from here and we arrive at this result. Okay, so we know the tangent of A is sine of A over cosine of A plus sine of B over cosine of B and over 1 minus sine of A times sine of B over cosine of A cosine of B. Okay, so we're going to uh, cross multiply. Okay, we will get in this case sine of A cosine B plus cosine A sine B over cosine A cosine B everything is over uh, cosine of A cosine of B minus sine of A sine of B over cosine A cosine B okay so now if we try and simplify assuming that these values are not zero so we're gonna get sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B over so this is sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B over here cosine A cosine B minus sine A sine B so we know the 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 sum of the angles for the sine so this this the 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 then uh, the uh, 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 the sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B is just sine of A plus B. And here, it, this is just the cosine of A plus B. But this is just, using the definition, this is just the tangent of A plus B. And this is what we want to prove. Okay, So if we start from here, we can easily prove this one. But the key idea here is to note that this one here is the sine of a plus b and this one is the cosine of a minus b okay we know these formulas okay so when we do that we arrive at sine of a plus b over cosine of a plus b and this is just the tangent of a plus b therefore this one here is just this one here we can also start from here Okay, when we start from here, we divide both sides. Okay, if we start from here, that means we start from this definition here. Okay, we apply this definition. After that, we do the expansion using the formulas and we divide by cosine A, cosine B. Okay, and uh, in this case, we arrive at our result. Okay. Next, using uh, uh, using this formula, what's the tangent of A minus B? Okay. So here we can deduce that from here. Okay. So we can write this one. Tangent of A minus B is tangent of A plus minus B. Therefore, we plug minus B in here. So we have tangent of A plus tangent of minus b over 1 minus tangent of a tangent of minus b but we know that tangent is odd so therefore we have tangent of a minus tangent of b over 1 plus tangent of a tangent of b okay i remember i used the fact that tangent of minus b is minus tangent of b okay so 
we arrived at this result using this one here this one here okay so let's write it down here so we have the tangent of a minus b is tangent of a minus tangent of b over 1 plus tangent of a times tangent of b okay why do we need these ones okay a simple example is that assume that a is uh, equal to b in this case we have tangent 2x is 2 tangent of x over 1 minus tangent squared of x assume that a equal equals b equals x over 2 in this case we have tangent of x is 2 tangent squared of x over 2 over 1 minus tangent uh, squared of x over 2 and this one very important to remember but the most one most important one is this one here remember this one the plus is always on the top okay and the minus is always down so plus minus okay remember this result okay if you see any errors or mistakes please let me know thank you very much